Hello, thank you for your interest in this video. My name is Martin Boomensor and today I'm going to be talking about composition, the most important aspect of photography today. These days with the tech being as good as it is, I'm going to assume that your camera is exposing your photograph correctly and that you know how to focus your image. But I will be coming back to uh, correct focusing later in this tutorial. Um, what we're going to talk about then is the so-called rules or guides of composition. Um, and we're going to start with something called simplicity. What I mean by that is um, as, as we begin to learn about photography and as, as we start to take photographs, we tend to take it in the way that a small child crosses a road. In that we can see our mum on the other side of the road and we run to our mum, we take the shot. We don't see the cars whizzing by either side. We just see what we want to see. So if you imagine, what I mean by that analogy is if, in this case, your subject um, is like the mum and you with your camera are the, are the child. So instead of seeing the whole frame, what we tend to see is just what we want to see, the, the subject. So we just point and we click. Now, that's fine if that's all you want, but, but most of us obviously want to, to use these cameras to create something beautiful and something that will create long-lasting memories, or as you progress, to, to make your clients happy. So the first thing we consider is what is in our frame. So what do we want to tell this story? So if it's a photograph of a person, um, you'll often see the amateur making mistakes such as you, you'll take a group shot and for example the shot is unbalanced. When they go to print it they realise that they've cropped the toes off. Um, that They just haven't really looked at the whole frame. They've seen the faces of their friends and they've snapped and a lot of the important factors are missing from the photograph. Um, sometimes as stupid as the tallest guy's head is missing. That's because we don't really look. We, we see, but we don't look. Or we look, but we don't see, depending on which way you think is best. So what we have to do is look at the whole frame, not just the thing we think that we're focusing on. Okay, um, the next thing I want to talk about is the things that we don't want in the frame. So you could have a beautifully composed photograph of, let's say, a, a young lady leaning against a wall in a park, everything's right, the lighting is perfect, she looks fantastic, but what you failed to see was that red dog bin just to the left of the composition. It's screaming at your viewer, all they can see is this bright red bin. So again, look at the whole frame, not just what you want in it, but the things that you don't want. Uh, uh, and although we have the, the beauty to these days of of editing afterwards and Photoshop to remove those kind of elements try to do it in camera and stick to just the elements you want it will save you time and make your photographs better so that's rule number one avoiding um, cluttering your photographs and keeping it simple okay the thing I'd like to talk about next once we've, we've got this clear story with only the things in the photograph that we want to help tell our story, the things that take away from our story no longer in our frame. That's the first part done.